First year old Woods Coliseum in downtown Jackson, Kentucky. We're ready for some championship basketball action here on Bluegrass Sports Nation tonight. This is Brendan Miller. I got the man, Sean Noble, and also Lucas Miller behind me. The Miller boys coming at you along with the Noble. We got a back on the side as always, yeah, folks. He's got our back. If you ain't a Miller or a Hound or a back, Sean, you're the bike seat, buddy. You usually don't walk with us. So. <laughs> folks, welcome aboard the game that never disappoints. We always say it's coming at you here tonight. 55th District Championship game. The Breath of Kenny Bobcats coming in here at 14 and 9 on the season and the Wolf County Wolves at 15 and 15. They've been decided here tonight. Both teams going on to the 14th region. It'll be a Prairie Central next week. We'll have it for you. Luke, you're the Wolf County side, man. Give us what you think about this one tonight. Well, uh, obviously Coach Creech, you know, in the last couple of weeks has had to change a lot of things uh, for uh, different reasons, but, uh, you know, his key tonight, I'm sure, is going to be rebounding. First and foremost, Brent has got a distinct size advantage, and, you know, he, he's got to find a way to out-hustle uh, Brent to some of those loose balls, and those 50-50 balls, and on offense, obviously, they go through Sawyer Thompson, but Coach Creech is going to have to have some guys step up and hit some shots from outside. Uh, not a whole lot of size uh, going in the lane uh, with the ability to shoot over a lot of breath its length. So uh, look for the Wolves to probably put up several threes. Yeah, definitely the Wolves going to have to play their best game here tonight yeah. to bring this one home and take it back to Campton as the Lady Wolves did last night. Yeah. Sean, give us your thoughts on what to look for out of the Bobcats. Well, the Bobcats, they, uh, uh, they, they're gonna, uh, they want to get the ball to uh, uh, their, their man, uh, Christian Collins and Austin Sperry. Uh, those, those two guys are very dynamic, very athletic. Uh, Obvious Perry wants to get in transition and uh, get baskets like that. Uh, Wolf's going to have to have a key on that. Uh, Christian Collins is just a beast on, uh, on the boards. Uh, he's been rebounding like, like crazy. And uh, uh, if you keep him, uh, keep him off there, he'd be good. But uh, uh, he, that's easier said than done. I think uh, he had 21 rebounds the, t the last game they played up here. Yeah. Uh, so, you know, obviously Coach Creech, he, he can't survive another one of those type performances from Collins and uh, you know I'm sure that was a uh, major key yeah. in the pregame top. Yeah. Key factor. Brethren has not played in over two weeks. That, that is. And that's a key factor to look for. You know I'm down well, here days. setting up and stuff and you know it's been it's been since the 10th maybe I believe uh, yeah. since they had the game here against Highlands have not played since then been all practice so yeah. I'll tell you then you've got Sawyer Thompson 14th region player of the year. We're going to see him here tonight and uh, probably be, be his last Last time playing in the Coliseum. Yeah, for sure. Know, yeah. So we'll see him in the regional tournament, but uh, been a tree 
lead and going to be a great one. The Wolf County fans whooping it up across the way. Right. So we'll be right back in just a few folks to get this one going here on Bluegrass Sports Nation. Trade it and upgrade it now at Appalachian Wireless and receive up to $700 off when you trade your old eligible device in and upgrade to a new iPhone 14 Pro Max or Samsung S23 Ultra on a qualifying Appalachian Advantage plan. What better way to start the year off right than with upgrading to a new 5G compatible device on the region's best network while saving up to $700 off on the hottest smartphones. Appalachian Wireless giving you another reason to come join the Big Blue Network. Why? Because we are you. We are Appalachian Wireless. Yeah, like wireless for full terms and conditions. Just up the road in Erlanger, Kentucky's own playing card company produces more than 5 billion cards a year. We know because we're Kentucky's insurance company, insuring all sorts of property damage involving your auto and home, but not your house of cards. Kentucky Farm Bureau Insurance, big on commitment. GoTime is a locally owned and operated convenience store that has all your wants and needs in one stop. We have everything from quick snacks and cold drinks, a full service deli, fresh coffee bar, soft serve ice cream and milkshakes. Also, make sure you try our Chester's Fried Chicken. GoTime, where the customer always comes first. Refuel your tank, refill your cup and refresh your taste buds all in one stop at GoTime. At HCTC, you're more than just a student. I am motivated. I am retired. I am a grandmother. I am a veteran. I am an entrepreneur. I am a son. I am a small business owner. I am HCTC. Thacker Grigsby is constantly working to bring the latest technologies home. Home, where we live and work. A place we want to see grow and prosper. From Jackson to Heinemann and everywhere in between. We're committed to serving you with the latest technology. Whether it's faster broadband, more video choices, or the latest voice services. Thacker Grigsby with our fiber network can provide the latest ways to stay connected, informed, and entertained. Variety Pizza. Family owned and operated, serving the community with homemade and handcrafted pizzas, sandwiches, salads, and more for over 45 years. Located at 1189 Main Street, Jackson, Kentucky. Available for dine-in and carry-out with private party spaces available. Stop by and visit us or call 606-666-5454. All right, folks, welcome back. We're ready now for the National Anthem. Apologize about the commercial wouldn't run there, so came back early. We're going to have the National Anthem here. And Gary Bellamy going to lead us in a little prayer here to get started. And then the JRTC will bring out the colors for us here in just a moment so before we get this one going. Actually, Taylor Smith's going to sing the National Anthem for us. Sergeant Wesley Blant, U.S. Flag Command Sergeant Major Caitlin Curry, State Flag Sergeant Lucas Earl. Got the man Rappel, Hubert Holland away Smith, on the PA across. Yeah. Been doing it for years. Get the clock here. We'll hear Pastor Bellamy and then Taylor Smith with the national anthem for you. Amen. 
And we'll have Taylor bring us the national anthem. Big crowd here tonight in the Collie. Sweet. Heather Smith, student here at Bethany County High School, building it out across the way. God bless America. We're proud to live here in the United States of America and Kentucky. We'll let the Cloak Colors be retired here from the floor and be ready to get underway here with the starting lineups. Of course, folks, share this one around. We're on Facebook and YouTube Live both. Got the 56 Girls Championship going on over in Booville right now uh, on Facebook and YouTube as well. Plenty of basketball here on BSN. We always bring it to you. We're the only ones that can bring you two districts at one time. And here on BSN, so the colors are off. And we're ready to get rolling here. Let's roll. Let's do it. <laughs> Looks like we're going to have a good atmosphere here tonight. We've got Chris Ambergy. Brian Napier, Mike Melton ready to bring this one. Of course, Lucas uh, assigns these guys. <laughs> <laughs> good, good crew here tonight, Luke. Veteran, veteran officials right here. Yeah, they uh, guys, I know that they, they were two of those, uh, both Chris and Brian were on the game at Lee and Estel the other night. Did a really good job. Let them play. Say good, congratulations to uh, Brian Napier. He uh, was selected by the KSSA to go to the boys' sweet 16 Is he going to be the boys sure or is. who's the girls? Um, Mike Mill next. Right, so we got good both deal. of them. I'll yeah. see them down there, of course. Yeah. I'll, I'll be the official KSSAA photographer for both. So I'll you got a busy couple both. weeks coming. Oh, 30 games, man. Yeah. I'll, I'll, count, I'll, I'll hear you can't have the stars without the stripes 30 times. That's right. All right, here's Sawyer Thompson coming up. Sawyer leads us off here. 2014th region player of the player of the year. Sawyer scores it at 21-6 a game. Dalton Boyles at the other guard, 7.3 a game. Starting at guard, a number 12, Andrew. Mayab. Mayab, the second senior, he and Sawyer. Both seniors, Andrew scores it in seven in the game. He's going to be huge tonight. Had a, had He's got really to hit the big glass. game on Monday to help the Wolves uh, advance. Uh, outside, we've got the young freshman, Cam Oliver, really growing, really have grown since midseason. And the young man, eighth grader, Caleb Creed's going to be one of the best eighth graders you'll see here in the 14th region, along with Corey Flincham. They matched up on Monday, and man, they're ready to rock and roll. Now for the starters for the Breathitt County Bobcats. Senior dominated, big difference here in experience in these two teams here tonight. And now, starting for the home team, the Breathitt County Bobcats. Now for the Bobcats. 
starting at all. Let's see. Number zero, Christian Collins. Christian Collins, 14 6 a game for the big man. He is really, really up the intensity and the aggressiveness here starting at the end of the season. Let's see. Number 32, Andrew Holmes. Andrew Holmes, another senior for the Bobcats. Defensive stalwart for the Bobcats. I, I expect to see him on Sawyer Thompson starting out here at yeah, 9 draw the game. assignment first, I would think. Yeah. Did a nice job last game, didn't he? Yeah. The Mountain in the middle. Bryce Hoskins, seven point out of game. Starting at guard, a senior. Number four, Luke Bellamy. All time leading three point shooter for the Bobcats now. Luke Bellamy, 9.4 a game for him. And the sophomore, the lone non-senior out of this bunch, Austin Sperry, leading score at 17-3 a game. Folks, if you haven't seen these two teams play, get ready. Because yeah. we, we have the pleasure of being the home stream yeah. for Brenton and Wolf both in these games. First one, Lucas back in on uh, December the 16th. We had it. Overtime. Overtime. 82-77. And then the second game, of course, Brenton, the game that never disappoints. That one did. Brenton laid it on them up here. Unless you're a Bobcat fan. If you're a Bobcat yeah. fan, it's probably the best oh. they've looked all season. Absolutely. So we're ready for action. Napier ready to throw it up. And here we go. Collins controls it off to Sperry. Bobcats will move right to left here on your screen. Coach Kyle Moore took over this uh, team after the passing of B.B. King. I was going to mention Sharon K. King across the way over there. Always here to watch the Bobcats. We're always thinking and praying for Sharon. Get it for Kay. Get it in. And Combs going to let the three go. No good. Over Sperry's head. And here come the Wolves, and they throw it away. Wolf County just uh, missed just the pass there, uh, trying to give it up to Mayhab. Wolf County, he didn't look like a matchup zone, Lucas. Uh, I think it was a flat 3-2, and three, two. I look for Vols to probably trap uh, if the ball goes to the block. Sperry gets it to Bellamy. Mm -hmm. Looking down. Yep. Andrew in the corner. He's running the baseline. Loves those corner threes. They get it for him again. No, it's off. Sperry thinks about it. No. And we're going to have a whistle by Mike Melton. First foul of the game is going to be inside. That's going to be on Sawyer Thompson. Could be a big situation there right off the bat. Sawyer gets his first. That's the last thing that the Wolves can afford in this game is to have Sawyer in foul trouble early or any time. I, I didn't see it. It must have been pretty good away from the ball like that. Sperry gets it to Combs. Combs back out top. Sperry going to drive down the lane up and under and cannot score it. Collins goes over top of Boyles for the rebound. Gets it no good and pulled down by Boyles. Young Caleb Creech looks like Sperry's going to have the assignment on him. Off to Cam Oliver. Drives and we're going to get the foul. Looks like on Bellamy will be his first and the first for the Bobcats. Each team has a single team foul now. That's going to send Cam Oliver to the line. Oliver shooting two for two. Oliver with the first one is up and good. Puts the Wolves on the board first. Looks like I say, share this one around. Facebook and YouTube both live for you. And, you know, the Bobcats, they've, they've missed two jumpers so far, and that'll be a big thing with the Wolves playing that zone and collapsing so much. Uh, the Bobcats have to hit some outside shots. Very looking for inside, back out, kicks it around to Collins. Going to let a two go from the baseline, and good. Christian Collins really developed that mid-range game here in the last uh, couple, last half of the season. Of course, Bobcats just haven't played very much. You know, 14-9, yeah. and nine, haven't had a game in a couple of weeks. And uh, we could tell already, dictation, that uh, this uh, – this is going to be a tighter game called early. They don't want to get it out of hand with uh, physicality. Hey, more fouls that was called in the last game uh, <laughs> in the first half. Yeah. <laughs> Mayab out top. Finds Creech. Creech, stutter step. Off to Oliver. Oliver thought about it. Now Mayab's going to take it. Just off, no good. It's going to be pulled down by Collins. Here comes Sperry in a hurry between the legs, and Cam Oliver cuts and him off. Good pick up in transition yeah. that time. Wolves have got to look back door. Oh, there's, yeah. there's a slam. 
The weak side of the zone was wide open there, and Spurry found it. And it was open last time. He just missed him. Yeah. You called it, Luke. Slam, bam, jam from Christian Collins on the alley-oop. And now the Wolves will counter down 4-1. And as we called it, Combs is all over Thompson right now. Sawyer. We're going to try to force the ball out of Sawyer's hands. We're going to get a foul on Combs. Pop through that screen. And uh, as we can see, it is going to be tight. Ball be inbounded here on the near side. Get it in to Creech. Man, big shot there by Mayhem. He got his feet set that time, Lucas, and knocked it down. Had good ball movement there by the Wolves. Yeah. Bellamy comes to the front of it now to make a, uh, one of the defenders come up, or else he'll step up and hit this three. Back to Bellamy, he's going to let it go from way deep and knocks it down. Luke Bellamy with his first of the night. Cool hand, Luke. Really good adjustment there by Coach Moore to bring his shooter up to the top of the key there against that zone. Mayab finds Creech. Creech with the stutter back to Mayab. Combs is right in Thompson's shirt here as they're trying to run the weave out top. Oliver looks for a spot, finds it, takes it. Oh, cannot convert. Collins with the tip over to Combs. Combs. Wolves back in that 2 3 zone. The uh, curl Collins there. Wolves done a good job. It's going to have a reach in, I think, on Oliver. Yeah, Brethren running their weak side screen, uh, looking for the three in the corner, but the high post was open. Watch for a ball side screen here for Bellamy going to the corner. And this Barry gets it to Hoskins. Hoskins could try to spin on the block. It's uh, Sawyer with the tip from behind, but another you know foul on the Wolves. Foul on Mayhab. I think so. They'll send Hoskins to the line. Don't. What's his free throw percentage? Yet? Hoskins with the first up and good. Oliver gets a breather as Brady Robinson, the freshman, number 44, Robinson comes in. in. Hoskins with the second. Up oh, and gets it. 73% on the year. All righty. 9-4 now. Bobcats. Wolves got to find some offense. Took down under four. Wolves out top. And That's a, Collins takes it away, going for the slam, and he slams it down. Christian Collins yeah. with the tomahawk. And uh, might have got away with a kickball there. Yeah, it's what Coach Creech is uh, discussing right now yeah. with him. Creech going to take it by Sperry. Stop, cut off. Back to Boyles. Boyles closed out by Collins. Bobcats length really affected some of those shots outside. Sawyer trying to find a little bit of opening to get his ball up. Not so far. Kick it to Boyles. Caleb Creech in the lane. Stutter step. And they're going to call him for step. The Wolves have to catch the ball ready to shoot. Uh, they're not going to have a whole lot of time with Breathitt's length. Breathitt's doing a good job of spreading out and uh, closing out pretty quick. Sperry over to, the, over to Combs. Bellamy. Sperry on the point with Combs and Bellamy both on the wings. Two, two good shooters. Got the two big men in the middle. Bobcats trying to space it right now. Over yeah. to Bellamy in the corner. Looking for the overload here. They've lost Bellamy, and he'll get an open look. 
and knocks it down. Good Good play. Call timeout. That's two already in the first quarter. Spreads it out to double digits already. See if Thompson, he's stopping pop. Knocks it down. Sawyer Thompson. Fourteen seven. Collins. Bellamy kicks it back to Combs. Combs back to and Bellamy. Leave him alone again. And just short that time. Off the rim. Here comes Boyles. Creech with the hit ahead up to Mayab. Nice play to bring that one in. Looking for Robinson. Robinson kicks it back out to Creech. Creech stutter takes it strong. Cannot finish. Brought down by Combs. Sperry. You know he's going to take it from there. Cannot finish. And it's going to be off of the Wolves and stay with Bertha County. Wolves dodge a bullet there. Uh, Sperry in transition just to miss the layup. Sperry gets it into Collins. Same shot, same play, same result. Christian Collins. Creech finds Thompson. Sawyer going to spin. Back out to Caleb Creech from the corner. Three is up. No good. Pulled down by Sperry. Sperry will lead the break. Wolves back. Gets tapped away from behind and will stay with the Cats. We have Caden Turner checking in for Christian Collins here. Christian with a great start to this one. Eight points, I believe, in the yeah. 16. Eight points and two dunks. <laughs> High percentage. Yep. <laughs> Jaden Holland, number 15, checks in for the Wolves, and Oliver checks back Pick in. Lose Bellamy Bellamy again. Again. And knocks it down. The all-time leading three-point shooter for the Bobcats is showing up tonight. That's three for Luke Bellamy here in this first quarter. Thompson finding it hard right now. Bobcats d up. Here comes Sperry on the move, finds Combs. Combs for another three. He does not go down, but Sperry's there for the offensive rebound. Back to Combs, takes it strong, no good. Hoskins with the rebound. Caden Turner with the rebound. No good. Hoskins, the fifth attempt now for the Bobcats. He takes it strong and going to be fouled. When you can rebound the basketball like that, yeah. you're going to be in every game. Going to send Hoskins back to the line. Hit his last two. First one on the way. Got it. And, and Lucas Wolf is, they're, they're getting a body on him. It's just kind of the, the long They're getting a much and, smaller body on him. Yeah, that's what it is. Second one for Hoskins. He's good. Uh, I've got 21. They, I've got 20 on the board. What do you have there, Sean? Uh, Creech. Looks like uh, Coach Creech going to go for the last here. Man. Caleb between the legs. Uh, Sawyer comes on the, on the screen and gets it. Sawyer Thompson trying to keep the Wolves in it. We'll check the score here I during the break. Yeah, I've got 21 yeah. too. They've, yeah. uh, I think they're off. I think it's 21 7. We're at 21 10. Be back here shortly uh, for the second quarter. Jackson Electric and Plumbing Supply in Jackson, Kentucky is proud to serve Breathitt, Lee, Wolf, Morgan, Owsley, Perry, and Madison counties. Established in 1982 with over 40 years of service to those communities, Jackson Electric and Plumbing Supply can not only meet your electric and plumbing needs, but also heating and cooling, concrete and metal septic tanks, as well as your special orders. Call Scott and the gang today at 606-666-4052. Citizens Bank and Trust Company of Jackson has been locally owned and operated since 1962. We offer several products that help make banking convenient. Ticketless deposits at our ATMs, online banking, our CBTJ mobile banking app, and compatibility with mobile wallet. Give us a call at 606-666-7575 or visit us on the web at citizensbankjackson.bank. 
to see how we can help you. Citizens Bank and Trust Company of Jackson is always searching for ways to serve you better. Member FDIC, Equal Housing Lender. Pete, formerly known as Jackson Wholesale Company, is a locally owned and operated convenience store and grocery store. You're up, folks. Welcome back. And Where Isaac Bellamy checked in. Here the, two. And Brady Robinson back in for the Wolves. Sawyer, and we're going to have a foul on Brady Robinson on the screen. He's still drive back up, though. They have changed it to 21 now. Yeah. 21 10, so. Sperry takes it in the lane, finds Hoskins. Hoskins going to go up strong with the hook. Good job. Goes down for Bryce Hoskins. And he, when he gets that deep, it's a. Got a stoppage. Getting ready to get right in front of you. Hey, ladies, ladies. Yeah. Sorry, I should turn myself up. Yeah, we may <laughs> uh, have to go higher. Yeah. All right, we're going to have a stop server. Preach. Thompson lets another three go. No good. It's going to be pulled down by Bellamy. Isaac not happy with that call. He uh, thought he might have got a foul, but... I thought, there was, I thought there was definitely a jump ball there, but yeah, uh, definitely. might not have held it long enough. Ball All into right. Mayeb. Mayeb. Back to Oliver. Left three. Got it. Damn Oliver. Knocks it down to bring the Wolves with it back within 10. 23-13. Big thing here is how is uh, the Wolves going to defend Hoskins when he drives to, uh, to this block. Perry takes it, can't get it, gets his own back up with it, and we'll score. Basket is good. Send Perry to the free throw line for one. Luke Bellamy is great to the free throw line. Murray made the basket at two points. Perry, knocks it down. Wolves now have to, and here for the final six and a half of this quarter, run some offense, get some stops. Thompson takes it hard, going to be blocked by Sperry, out of bounds, and stay with the Wolves. All the Bobcats, when Thompson has it, are in a complete help mode until he gives it up. Uh, so, you know, the Wolves are going to have to have some guys knock down some shots uh, to make them stay at home a little longer. Looks like we got some and get moisture some, on the floor. Get, get some stops on defense as well. They've uh, uh, been struggling with the offensive rebounds. That's, uh, that's really been a thorn in their side so far. A little janitorial work going on. That shows you why he's a state tournament ref right there. <laughs> <laughs> Make sure the playing floor is safe. Absolutely. Last year we had a, a moisture problem in the region. No kidding. Yeah. Yours truly came down the steps hard over there. <laughs> Went up to take a picture and drop down. So we're back in now. Here comes Creech. Look for the screen down. Well, Caleb. Drive, spins in the lane, up and under. Sperry cannot complete it. Sperry altered that just enough to be able to get the uh, ball not go down. Over to Bellamy in the corner. He'll take that. 
Shove, jumper, no good. No Sawyer Thompson for the rebound. Thompson. Up for the three, rolls off, no good. And not a bad shot in transition for him. Sperry, stutter step, takes it in the lane, up and good. Austin Sperry got another timeout by Wolf County. It'll be a 30. We'll take it with them. Be right back to you here, folks, on Bluegrass Sports Nation. This is a story about purpose. This is a story about progress, about building on our past accomplishments and investing in innovation. All of this combined with our industry-leading insurance, competitive pay rates, and flexible scheduling is the reason why now is the time to join our team. This is our story. Let it be your story. Hey, up there when they get All right, stronger. folks, welcome back here on BSN. 5.57 to go here in the second quarter. On the scoreboard clock, we'll correct ours. Right now, the uh, Bobcats 28, Wolves 13. So kind of a replay so far of the one second game we had this season. Luke, Wolves going to have to work hard to get back in this one. Yeah, got to find some defensive stops, be able to string two or three stops together. Uh, to give yourself a chance to get back in it here and not let this lead get any bigger. Cam Oliver, the shot, no good. Pulled down by Collins. <clears throat> Looks like the Wolves have lost. Another alley -oop alley -oop to Collins. Alley-oop alley number two for Christian Collins. Third dunk of the game. He great. continues on the high percentage shots. Yeah, there, great pass by Austin Sperry. He looked the defense off and uh, found him going baseline. Kick to Cam Oliver. Oliver finds Thompson. He's got Collins on him now. Lots of length. Sawyer with a step back. Let's it go. No good. And that's going to be pulled down by Ross Hoskins. Comes Sperry, Sperry on the crossover. Gonna have a little contact and lowered the shoulder that time. Oh, they call a charge on Sperry. Yeah, and that's the type of defense that you need right there. You need somebody who's gonna wanna come over and sacrifice their body and uh, take one for the team right there. Uh, that, that keeps Sperry uh, honest. Is that his second foul, Lewis? Uh, I, I guess so, yeah. It's yeah. still showing. Sawyer. There's Mayab. Mayab going to let the long three go. No good. Pulled down by Bellamy. Going to have the stoppage. Foul on Cam Oliver, looks like. Bonus. And aggressive play, but you don't want to foul in the backcourt. That's seven fouls already on the Bulls, and we'll send the Bobcats to the line for the rest of the quarter here. Bobcats with four fouls. Bellamy, first one is up, rolls in. And it may have got a couple good looks out there uh, in, the, in the breath of defense. They're kind of bringing Hoskins out, making him guard. And it misses the second. Mayab on the move. Everybody cuts him off to 15. Can't finish it, though. Collins is there for the rebound. And the, the Wolves just can't get any high percentage shots. As Combs for three. three. No good. Bellamy takes it strong. Going to be fouled by Boyles. They send Isaac Bellamy back to the free throw line. Bellamy off the bench. Taking it strong to the basket. Good weak side rebound. First one up for Bellamy is good. Bellamy for number two. Gets them both this time. Stepped over the line. Actually got away with it the first time. Yeah, so. yeah. All right, it'll make it 32. 13. Reach out top. Yeah. 
Thompson. Finds Bowles. Bowles. Sit back. Tom, Collins blocks it. Length of Collins. Collins to Collins. Bulls look like they've gone more to a straight man-to-man -man here. Well, off Bellamy, but Isaac Bellamy tricks it down. It's Luke to Isaac. Isaac going to take it strong up and under. Can't finish it, but Collins is there for another offensive rebound. Christian Collins flying high tonight. Leave it open for Bellamy for three. Got it. And get the harm as well. Isaac. Knocking it down. They got the blue headbands on tonight. Full timeout going to be taken here by Wolf County. We'll take two with them, folks, and be right back here on BSN. The new year is bringing exciting high school basketball action to courts across our region, and Rose Brothers is happy to help bring these games into your homes. Rose Brothers is your source for basketball and all athletic shoes and Under Armour and Nike athletic apparel to put your athletes in the game or even help you keep those New Year's resolutions. Lots of winters still ahead. Come see us for deals on fleece and outerwear, too. When you have the chance, get out and support your local teams and the boys and girls of your local schools. And when you can't, Rose Brothers will be helping Bluegrass Sports Nation bring it to you. Wolf County is widely known as a rock climbing and hiking destination, but is now quickly becoming known for its great restaurants and entertainment venues. Venues like Skybridge Station, where you can see live music on the weekends or go to Tuesday Night Tribute. Kells Patriot Pizza, Spanx Franks, Dixie Freeze, E. Finca, 145 Stakeout, which has live music most weekends, The Brick, Red Point Barbecue, and Bites and Bargains. Wolf County is naturally gorgeous, and Wolf County Tourism invites you to stop in and try one of these great restaurants on your next visit. All right, folks, welcome back here. Bellamy will go to the line to try to complete the four-point play here in this one after knocking down the three in the corner. It up, and Isaac misses that one. And remain at 35-13 here. Bertha County. Fine Boyles. Boyles going to get the three up. Man, Collins flying high to try to block that one. Bellamy on the floor fighting, and we're going to have a stoppage in play here. Tie ball will go to Bertha County on the alternate position. Good hustle by Cam Oliver. Get down on the floor, get dirty. Both teams working hard. Bellamy finds Hoskins. Hoskins is going to take it float and block that time by, by Thompson. And out of bounds, it's off Hoskins. will go to the Wolves. Coach Creech wants them to get moving. Kick over to Mayab. Mayab, Duke step, gets it back to Boyles. To Creech. Creech, jump stop. No good. Pulled down by Collins. Christian Collins absolutely ruling the boards here hey, right yes. now on both ends. Bellamy thought about it, didn't catch it clean. And we're going to have turnover. Here comes Creech on the move. Kicks it to Boyles. Boyles lets Bellamy fly by and drive in the lane with a little one-hander up. No good. And good scramble and defense back. Run him off the, the three-point line. Get in the corner to Combs. Combs. Wolves very fortunate. Combs has not hit any of the, those three po three pointers from the corner. They get it back to him. He's going to try another one. Just off again that time. Here comes Creech. Get it to Thompson. Going to pull up or in the lane. That. No good. And Collins with another rebound. Wolves only scored three points this quarter. Uh, missed several jumpers. Just can't get nothing to go down right now. Collins way out top, finds Combs. Bellamy, they can't, they can't leave him for a, 
tick, gets it to Combs. Combs drives back to Bellamy. We got the shot, made it count. Bobcats are knocking it down tonight. 38-13. Cool hand Luke with uh, four threes for the game. Thompson. They have, let's another one go. That's going to be out of bounds and breath at ball with 42.9 on the clock. Bobcats looking every part right now of a regional favorite. Hit ahead to Bellamy. Collins in the corner, and Jackson Hamilton in the game now. Jackson, another good three-point shooter for the Bobcats. Take over to Collins from 15, just rims out, pulled down by Mayab, 20 seconds to go. Jackson Hamilton with the steal from behind, kicks it over to Isaac. Isaac back to Andrew, looking for Caden Turner. Caden, pretty good with that little shot, not this time. Seven seconds. Thompson. Going to pull up from way deep and just cannot get it. And that's going to bring us to the end of the first half as the cheerleaders scatter with the Bobcats on top. 38-13, impressive performance here from the Bobcats in this first half. We'll take about five, be back at the five-minute mark to uh, give you some information here on Bluegrass Sports Nation. Bank's vision is to be the best community bank in America. We strive to use our knowledge, talents, to improve the quality of life in our communities. This year, peeping our 120th anniversary by delivering 120 acts of kindness. Kindness brings us just as much joy as to those that receive them. People's Bank, working together, building success. PDQ Sales and Services, formerly known as Jackson Wholesale Company, is a locally owned and operated convenience store and grocery store supplier with a full line of products. They have ice cream, groceries, meat, dairy, candy, and more. They even have janitorial supplies including Tactical Strike Disinfectant. Tactical Strike has been approved by the EPA to kill the virus that causes COVID-19. Give PDQ a call today at 606-666-2495. Family and hometown pharmacies have been serving Breathitt County for over 20 years and are proud to support our local athletes. They are hometown owned and operated by Portia and Everett Dunaway. Portia and Everett want you to know that family and hometown pharmacies are here for you. Give them a call today at 606-666-5519 or 606-666-5500. Lakeside Homes, located in Jackson, Kentucky, has been serving Breathitt and surrounding counties for over 27 years. They have new manufactured homes from Norris, Clayton, and Fleetwood. Single wides, double wides, and also an assortment of quality used homes. Many financing options available, offering site prep, delivery, and setup for a no hassle experience. To find your new home, visit them at 42 Jets Drive in Jackson or on the web at www.lakesidehomesjackson.com or call 606 666 755. Wolf County is widely known as a rock climbing and hiking destination, but is now quickly becoming known for its great restaurants and entertainment venues. Venues like Skybridge Station, where you can see live music on the weekends or go to Tuesday Night Trivia. Kells Patriot Pizza, Spanx Franks, Dixie Freeze, E. Finca, 145 Stakeout, which has live music most weekends, The Brick, Red Point Barbecue, and Bites and Bargains. Wolf County is naturally gorgeous, and Wolf County Tourism invites you to stop in and try one of these great restaurants on your next visit. 
Trade it and upgrade it now at Appalachian Wireless and receive up to $700 off when you trade your old eligible device in and upgrade to a new iPhone 14 Pro Max or Samsung S23 Ultra on a qualifying Appalachian Advantage plan. What better way to start the year off right than with upgrading to a new 5G compatible device on the region's best network while saving up to $700 off on the hottest smartphones. Appalachian Wireless giving you another reason to come join the Big Blue Network. Why? Because we are you. We are Appalachian Wireless. Yeah, like for full terms and conditions. Just up the road in Erlanger, Kentucky's own playing card company produces more than 5 billion cards a year. We know because we're Kentucky's insurance company, insuring all sorts of property damage involving your auto and home, but not your house of cards. Kentucky Farm Bureau Insurance, big on commitment. This is a story about purpose. This is a story about progress, about building on our past accomplishments and investing in innovation. All of this combined with our industry-leading insurance, competitive pay rates, and flexible scheduling is the reason why now is the time to join our team. This is our story. Let it be your story. Jackson Electric and Plumbing Supply in Jackson, Kentucky is proud to serve Breathitt, Lee, Wolf, Morgan, Owsley, Perry, and Madison Counties. Established in 1982 with over 40 years of service to those communities, Jackson Electric and Plumbing Supply can not only meet your electric and plumbing needs, but also heating and cooling, concrete and metal septic tanks, as well as your special orders. Call Scott and the gang today at 606-666-4052. The new year is bringing exciting high school basketball action to courts across our region, and Rose Brothers is happy to help bring these games into your homes. Rose Brothers is your source for basketball and all athletic shoes and Under Armour and Nike athletic apparel to put your athletes in the game, or even help you keep those New Year's resolutions. With lots of winters still ahead, come see us for deals on fleece and outerwear too. When you have the chance, get out and support your local teams and the boys and girls of your local schools. And when you can't, Rose Brothers will be helping Bluegrass Sports Nation bring it to you. All right, folks, welcome back here at the half in the Farsiel Woods Coliseum. I want to thank our presenting sponsors here tonight, the, the 55th District Tournament, the Wolf County Farm Bureau and Brenda County Farm Bureau agencies here in Canton and Jackson. Susan Cable and Roy Kelly, Chuck Price and Seth Holland always helping us here at Bluegrass Sports Nation. Appreciate them so much. We can't say great things about most of them but Fick Kelly. But now he's the best. We appreciate Fick so much. They're big on commitment, big on Brethren, and Wolf County, folks, uh, are the Farm Bureau agencies. So, guys, uh, your thoughts here at halftime. Sean's got some scoring for you, and uh, and where we go from here. Yeah, well, we got a leading scorer uh, right now for uh, Brethren County Bobcats, Luke Bellamy, uh, with 12. And uh, that's all, all threes, um, four threes. And then also Christian Collins with a 10 to add to that. Um, on the other end, we got Sawyer Thompson. He's got uh, he's got six points. Um, really hurt uh, Wolf County in the second quarter. Uh, uh, not Sawyer, but the, the breath of County defense. Yeah. Um, being their length, Lucas, and uh, you know just really bothering uh, layups and, and uh, three point shots for them. Yeah, only scoring three points there in the uh, in the second, uh, and you know getting out scored 15. You know, uh, by breath, it's 18 points. You know, it's uh, real hard for the Wolves to overcome. Uh, you know, breath, it, when when they play with energy, their length and athleticism yeah. is so impactful. And, uh, you know, for the Wolves, you know, trying to protect down low and keep Bryce uh, and Hoskins and Christian Collins from getting layups, you give up those open threes. Yeah. And obviously, you know, when you have a Luke Bellamy or a, a Andrew Combs, you know, th those kids are seniors, and they knock down those sh open shots. Right. And, uh, you know, for, for Coach Creech, I'm sure his message was, you know, you don't want to come out and quit. You, you, you know, you want to come out and you want to try to win the third quarter. Right. And for Coach Moore, you know, he, he wants his guys to just keep doing the same thing, you know, play as hard as they can, get up and down the floor, and uh, roll with it. 
All right, guys. Well, thank you very much. Uh, we'll want to talk about some of our sponsors here. You've seen many of them running commercials here tonight. We want to thank those who are not. YPK Motorsports, three locations in eastern Kentucky, Jackson, Hazard, and Paintsville in stock machines. Ready for your family's outdoor adventures. Visit YPKMotorsports.com for your next ride. Thanks, Auto Sales down in Campton, serving Wolf County in the area for over 25 years. Get your next car from Raymond and the good people at Banks. Holbrook Equipment, see Todd, Ted, Todd, and the good people at Holbrook for your Kubota tractor and farm equipment. Taking care of me twice, I appreciate them very much. Do a great job there. So look for farm equipment, see Ted and Todd down at Holbrook Equipment in Campton. 407 Supplies for your construction supplies in eastern Kentucky. Pipe, gave you baskets, septic materials. Call 407 Supplies at 568 5754. Southern Woods Heating and Air. Jeremy Southwood and the guys. Southern Woods for all your heating and cooling needs. Installation or service, no job too big or too small. Jackson Physical Therapy, Kelby Watts PT, always helping the kids of Eastern Kentucky. It does a good job of get you back in the action. Wolf County Farm Bureau Federation, Law Office of Daryl Herald, over 30 years taking care of your legal needs of the citizens of Jackson and Breathitt County. Whitaker Bank of Campton, the good folks down at Whitaker spread them so much, always support the teams of the 55th District. Breathitt Building and Farm Supply for appliances, hardware, septic tanks, and pipe. Breath of Building Supplies, 666-2454. Hutch Automotive and Tire Works, your home from Jackson. The Car Quest Auto Parts located on Highway 15. Go check them out. Trinity Monuments, lasting memorials for you and your loved ones. Trinity Monuments in Jackson. I should have flipped the screen there. There's Trinity Monuments in Jackson. Call Earl at 666-8426. Dr. Stephen Howard, if you're injured, Dr. Howard can help, including auto accident and workers' compensation. No referral needed. Over 22 years of experience, Dr. Howard does an excellent job. And Halsey Insurance Group, Daryl Halsey and Gail down in Campton. If you need Medicare coverage, life insurance, or 401k rollovers, retirement, call Daryl and Gail at Halsey Insurance Group, 668-6998. So, folks, uh, got about 30 seconds. We'll run, we'll be, uh, till we get started here again. So, wow, it's uh, always a great night here in the Coliseum. We'll take one more, guys, to be ready to go. PDQ Sales and Services, formerly known as Jackson Wholesale Company, is a locally owned and operated convenience store and grocery store supplier with a full line of products. They have ice cream, groceries, meat, dairy, candy, and more. They even have janitorial supplies including Tactical Strike Disinfectant. Tactical Strike has been approved by the EPA to kill the virus that causes COVID-19. Give PDQ a call today at 606-666-2495. All right, folks, welcome back. Ready to rock and roll here in quarter number three. Bobcats and Wolves, 55th District Championship. We'll go here. Looks like Wolf going to be in position on the alternating position here as we start the second half. And we're underway. Caleb Creech out top. Finds Sawyer Thompson. Thompson. Drive against Combs. Combs really digging him up. Looks like Combs may have gotten injured there. He's holding his uh, elbow pretty badly. Let's see what happened. He's uh, squatting down in the lane in there. And they go Creech with the little jumper is up and good. And uh, Andrew nice. looks like he might be okay. Nice move by Caleb Creech. Might have got frog or something. Shot pulled down by Creech. Caleb, out top. Wolves need to, for their side, need to inch back in this. Thompson from way deep, no good. Ball's going to be out of bounds and turned over to Breathitt with 7.07 on the clock. Do you have a score from Boonville? Uh, uh, the Lady Owls were up 48 to 35 uh, in the third. Combs cannot finish. There's Collins with the offensive rebound and put back. Christian Gollins going to war here tonight. And another rebound where he's just flying in and showing his athleticism. Thompson going to pull up from way downtown and knock it down. Sire Thompson. And you're not seeing uh, seeing things wrong. He, he, that's his range. He can make that shot. Bellamy finds Collins. Sperry back out top. Coach Moore says to set it up. We can't. Up, over. Sorry, folks. Down here in front, we've got a bunch of kids standing up, so we're trying to get the get the screen up best we can to see the, see the game. And looks like we had a foul on uh, Bryce Hoskins yeah. on the offensive rebound. Yeah. 
Thompson with another no good. Pulled down by Sperry. Sperry all the way to the basket. Thompson taps him, and that's going to be stopped and out of bounds, and will be. That's almost got to be a jump ball right yeah. there. Yeah, but they're going to give it back to breath. It probably something. Yeah, foul jump ball. <laughs> Perry off to Collins. No good. Hoskins taps it. Can't get it to go. But yeah, ball away the basket for the cuts it back. Wolves playing a little bit better, more under control here in the second half. Looks for Breathed to go inside here and try to post. And their flex cut. And there it is. Off to Combs. He's fouled. We'll go to the free throw line. He got to switch that down there, or or, or give the give the def uh, the yeah the defender room to come through to stop that. But good play. Combs will go to the line. First one on the way. Good. Like whatever Andrew did there early on here in that last sequence, he's okay. Yeah, I think I think Lucas hit the nail on the head. He probably got frogged or something like that. It, Second one is good. Bellamy, the offensive rebound. Defensive rebound, excuse me. Bellamy kicks it over to Sperry. Leave him open. He's going to take the three. No good. And Collins with another rebound to back out. Second chancer from Bellamy. No good. Caleb Creech on the move up to Voyle. Sperry tries to block it, but Voyles gets it down. So going to get a timeout from Breathitt with 4.58 on the clock. And we have 30 seconds here. Yeah, 30 seconds there. Coach Moore probably wants to uh, talk to his guys about not getting into an up-and-down game unless you've got an absolute layup. You know, they're up 20. And, you know, for them, it's about controlling the clock and controlling the ball. The Wolves, it's a game of possessions. They want to try to get as many possessions as possible in this second half to be able to cut into this lead. And, uh, you know, the Bobcats, they want to shorten the game now with a 20-point lead. And uh, you got to be pleased if you're Coach Creech, too. They've, they've come out. They're not, they're not quitting. Uh, they're getting some good looks here and, uh, uh, and some stops on defense. 4.58 to go, 42-22. Ball in to Sperry. And throws it away. Some full court pressure there by the Wolves. No. I think uh, Sperry picked his dribble up there a little prematurely and uh, had to get rid of it. But yeah, about top. Holland in the game for the Wolves. Creech all over the rim, could not go down. Collins with another rebound. I'd like to see his rebounding stats at the end of the night. Yeah, he's. I've got him down for uh, eight right now. Back out to Hoskins. He's going to take the three and knock it down. Boss Hoskins. When and Bryce Hoskins hitting that, it's a it's a long night. <laughs> Good night for the Bobcats and bad night for the competition. Yeah. Sawyer going to pull up, cannot get it to go down. Going to be tapped out and will stay on this end with the Wolves. With the Wolves, excuse me. Mayab the inbounds under the basket. Goes up to Wisman. Pass is too far. Taken away. Sperry on the move. Finds Combs. Takes it up strong. No good. And I send Andrew Combs back to the free throw line. Just made his last two. Uh, live ball turnovers lead to transition baskets. Yeah, and you know that's that's the, the one thing that the Wolves uh, can't avoid. Uh, can't stop is, you know, the Bobcats in transition. When Spur gets going downhill, he's he's a handful to try to stop, and he makes everybody around him better, as he did there for Combs. 
Comes with the second. Got it. Yeah, he's actually improved on that this year, uh, getting to the lane and finding an open man and, and also uh, just finishing the basketball. Way downtown for Sawyer, just off. And here's another rebound for Collins. Sperry, Jukes takes to the middle and scores. Austin Sperry. They abs off Sperry with another rebound. And the Cats again. Sperry. Jump stop, going to be fouled by Mayab. And uh, sound like a broken record here. He's getting getting to the lane. Yeah, well, yeah. you can't transition. let him get that deep because uh, he, he has, you know, the ability to elevate, obviously. And uh, yeah. you know, the Wolves uh, looked like they're a little tired. They made a, they made a little run there, and uh, now it looks like they kind of lost some air. Yeah, and easier said than done. You know, Austin Sperry is super fast, super athletic. Uh, he's a, a a very dynamic player. Yeah, Caden Turner checking back in. Sperry. Second one's good. Mm -hmm. Bobcats hit the 50 mark with 3.13 to go here in the third quarter. Thompson out top. Gets a lane to the basket, going to be fouled by Combs and go to the free throw line. Good sportsmanship there by Combs to reach down to help him up. Uh, I seen him and uh, Sawyer at a uh, dance at Wolf County about two weeks ago, a homecoming dance. And uh, <laughs> just to speak to the kind of kid Andrew is, he was helping uh, Sawyer and several of the basketball boys move uh, tables back into the cafeteria after the dance. So. Uh, you know, these kids, they go to war when they go out here on this field, but, or this, this court, but, you know, they're, uh, they're friends off the court and uh, have a mutual respect for each other. Sawyer makes the first one. Yeah. You almost have to be up to so many wars and battles they've been in over the years. Yeah. And, uh, you know, a fine young man is Andrew Combs and, and uh, Sawyer Thompson as well. Quick update from Boonville, Brennan. At the end of three, it's 55-34, uh, Lady Owls. Lady Owls are wearing them out, though. Yep. yep. Lady Owls, a, a juggernaut this year. Looking good. And that, uh, they've been a... Oh, Going to have a foul on Jaden Holland, who checks in. I see. See, uh, the Owls really need... Uh, really are... You know, just to speak, even though we're playing this one is, you know, Macy Brown will be big for them going forward. They need her inside presence. <laughs> Nasek throws that one out of bounds. And in the 54th, Brennan, the Leslie County Lady Eagles are up 56-40 over Hazard in the fourth quarter. And yeah, Hazard. A big upset of Prairie Central on Monday night. Thompson looking for the step back. Now the drive. There's the step back. Just off. No good. Hoskins with the rebound. And I don't know if you saw Mo Lance in the game for the Wolves. Uh, Lukey Bellamy up and under. Bellamy, Isaac Bellamy knocks that one out of bounds. We'll stay with the Wolves. 52-24. Ball into Molands. Gonna let a three go. No good. Sperry on the move over to Hoskins. And Hoskins takes it, puts her in. That'll grow their lead to 30 before the free throw here. Austin's with the set with the free throw to complete the three-point play and does. 
Now Collins checking back in. And the Young Wolves just have some growing pains right now. They got three freshmen on the court. Well, they, uh, you know, and hard. Coach Creech, he's still going to coach his kids. Absolutely. This is a learning uh, opportunity for them. Uh, we set off the air there as uh, Collins almost got the steal. Um, that, you know, three years ago, this Breathitt team was young like this Wolves team. And, uh, you know, they, they took some losses in the district, and, you know, that's just part of it uh, in this rivalry. Yes. You know, it, the the veterans come with waves, and, uh, you know, right now Breathitt has four seniors out there, five uh, when Caden Turner's out there on the floor with them. Thompson. Oh. The Wolves right now have three freshmen, and they're going to have a block. Here on Jackson Hamilton. Now oh, they're going to get the foul on Combs. Jackson, a nice job taking the charge right there. But it, it got fouled before yeah. that, didn't he? Yeah, and, yeah. and uh, you know, I think he was probably a little under the rim. Right. But uh, a good try there by the young man. Sawyer makes the first, second one on its way, and good as well. 55-26, Bobcats. Bellamy, guard a double team. Finds a nice look over to it. Oh, and Collins gets his own and tries to finish again, and they're going to have a foul on Collins over the back there on Thompson. Bobcats moved the ball. Collins just could not get that one to dribble down in. But he did get another offensive rebound to pad the stats to, he did that. to 10. Mo lands out top. Over to Vols. Back to Jaden Holland. Finds Sawyer Thompson in the lane. Sperry goes up and blocks it. Thompson gets his own back with a little jumper just short. Thompson has to expend so much energy. Yeah. You know, trying to get shots. Sperry down the lane, up and jams it. Austin Sperry. Sperry's going to be called for the foul on the reach in. Luke Bellamy back in the game. Luke Bellamy returns to Great Carolina. Holland gets it into Thompson. Thompson with Bellamy on him now. Sawyer between the legs, takes it in the lane. Set it from 10, gets it back to Bowles. Bowles with the fake, takes it down the lane. Up, no good. And there's Collins. We're ripping that one down. 26 to go here in the first in the third quarter. Bellamy, heard about Mo Lance, takes it to the basket and it scores it. Luke Bellamy. Very nice job by Luke. He kept him on his hip the whole way. Uh, able to get the, the shot up, the hoop and the harm. Jaden Molins, strong young man. Yes. He had to hold him at bay, so good job by Luke there. On the way and good. Going to have a delayed warning on Breathitt. Fifteen seconds. Creech, got it. And low and oh, and that's just off. And that'll end the third quarter with the score, 60-28 Bobcats. Becker Grigsby is constantly working to bring the latest technologies home. Home, where we live and work. 
a place we want to see grow and prosper. From Jackson to Heinemann and everywhere in between, we're committed to serving you with the latest technology, whether it's faster broadband, more video choices, or the latest voice services. Thacker Grigsby with our fiber network can provide the latest ways to stay connected, informed, and entertained. GoTime is a locally owned and operated convenience store that has all your wants and needs in one stop. We have everything from quick snacks and cold drinks, a full service deli, fresh coffee bar, soft serve ice cream and milkshakes. Also, make sure you try our Chester's Fried Chicken. Go Time, where the customer always comes first. Refuel your tank, refill your cup and refresh your taste buds all in one stop at Go Time. Right, folks, welcome back. Ready for the fourth quarter here. Bobcats in full control of this one from a few minutes into it. 60-28. Well, player out here and crown the district champion. Draw for the girls will be tomorrow at 11 o'clock. Yeah, 11 o'clock in Leslie. Yeah. So we'll uh, have that one. Don't know if, if we're going to be able to make it over to stream that or not, but we'll have the draw for you. And then starting on Monday night, we'll have the games from Leslie County as everything is planned right now. Uh, make sure that can all happen. We've got to finish the district first. And we're going to have a foul on Wolf. Send. I'm going to say the bucket is good. Right? Yep. For Hoskins. And I think, uh, I think Rice gets lost in the shuffle sometimes. He's a, uh, a much better post player than people give him credit for. That one, but we've got a foul on Turner. Caden Turner. And that gives uh, Wolf well, County the bonus. Well, thanks, folks, for tuning in here on BSM. We appreciate you, big old crowd on YouTube. I haven't looked over on Facebook, but... Uh, we appreciate you for making us your choice for your streaming here in the 55th District. Absolutely. Thanks, fans. Thompson is first. He's good. Sawyer with number two gets them both. Bellamy finds Collins. Hoskins. Bobcats have doubled up the Wolves here. Find Collins. Collins just takes it in the air and tries to put it in. Gets his own back. Another offensive rebound. Another basket for Christian Collins. There, Caleb Creech with the three. We're going to get a 32nd. We'll take one commercial, folks. Be right back here. BSN. Citizens Bank and Trust Company of Jackson has been locally owned and operated since 1962. We offer several products that help make banking convenient. Ticketless deposits at our ATMs, online banking, our CBTJ mobile banking app, and compatibility with mobile wallet. Give us a call at 606-666-7575 or visit us on the web at citizensbankjackson.bank to see how we can help you. Citizens Bank and Trust Company of Jackson is always searching for ways to serve you better. Member FDIC, equal housing lender. All right, folks, back here at the Farsio Woods Coliseum, 55th District Championship here tonight. Bobcats have put on a show to this point. They really have. They look, uh, they look like the juggernaut that they are right now. Bellamy over to Collins, throws it to Creech. Caleb Creech, no good, pulled down by. Combs off to Collins, finds Caden Turner for the basket. Caleb Creech, you leave him alone, shoots a three, knocks it down. Caleb Creech uh, finding the range here. Bellamy, two Combs. Finds Collins to Hoskins. To Turner, puts it in. Nice look by Bryce Hoskins there. Find Caden Turner under the basket for the crip shot. Camden Oliver off.
And I got a new nickname for Christian Collins, the joystick. joystick. He's, a, he's like a, a game uh, action he's figure take out here. the three. No good. Caden Turner's there, but they're going to say he's on Cam Oliver's back. There's two or three rebounds he's flew in for and just looked like a, a bird flying through here. Where will these kids get all these uh, construction vests over here? <laughs> yeah, going to work. They're, going, uh, they're putting the hard hats on over here. Cam Oliver uh, to the line. The, the pep section theme is under construction. Hmm, okay. Oliver with the second. Got it. Sperry. Finds Luke Bellamy. Hit ahead up to Andrew Combs. Three on the way. There's one of the threes. Too good of a shooter for not one of those to go down here tonight. Mayab. Be fouled by Turner. Bobcats now. 71-38. Yeah, back to one. Here comes for the checkout. Isaac Bellamy coming in the game. Sperry's back in. Mayab makes the second. Sperry off to Collins, tried to, tried to jam it, gets his own and puts it back. Collins, really no challenge here tonight as far as, you know, ruling the boards. Mayab right. got away with an extra step probably. Top by Wisman, here come the Wolves. Mayab to the basket, finishes it. Good job by Andrew to space out the floor there, make the defense commit. Bellamy, off to Isaac Bellamy, three on the way, got it. Bobcats are shooting in the Coliseum tonight. I mean, th you know what I mean, threes ahead? Yes, yeah, so they have one, two, three, four. Eight threes. And another one from Sawyer Thompson. You know, when, you, when you've got a lead like this and uh, the defensive pressure and you just have to move it. Bobcats moving the ball over to Caden Turner. Caden uh, Turner gives them a lot when he comes in off the bench, man. Yeah, Caden Kaden does, uh, does the dirty work. Nice to see him get some buckets. Now, yeah, but this game has... Broken down into quote unquote garbage time. And here's the uh, lob back to Sperry from the other side. Could not get that one down. Caleb Creech back to Max Wisman. Let's a three go. No good. Here comes Luke Bellamy looking for Collins. There's the alley oop on the stuff. Time out. Griffith County. Bobcats running the floor. Running the floor, getting easy baskets. Got a 30, folks. We'll uh, take one. Do we? Is it a 30? I think it was a... I thought it was a substitution timeout. Okay. They, they, okay. Had, they had Hamilton to check in, and they refs just blew it dead to get him in. Oliver from deep, got it. Good shot, Cam. Jackson Hamilton gets it back to Luke Bellamy. Mm 
Bellamy over to Turner again. Jaden Turner running them up there from under the basket. Nice look, nice find by Luke Bellamy. Caden with eight points. Mayab with a long three, no good. Pulled down by Oliver. Leave him alone. He banks her in. We have a we have Sawyer Thompson check out. Mayab check out. Coach Robert Scott Crees gets his seniors out here tonight. Sawyer. Perry all the way to the basket. We have another stoppage. Oh, the Fox running. Austin Sperry. Uh, beautiful move. Uh, okay, sorry about that. We got the clock running. As we did hit 35 there, yeah, I believe. Yeah, we did, yeah. so I did not catch that. I apologize. They're getting uh, Turner out, the senior. Yeah, yep. more yeah. have All right, David Johnson checking in for the Bobcats. And Ben Wooten on the floor. Holland with a long three, no good. Molans back up with the basket. 84-52, 130 to go in this one. Hamilton with a nice handle off to Braxton Terry. No good. Jaden Holland took a little skip step. <laughs> no call. Oliver finds Mo Lance. Back out to Max Wisman. Going to let the three go. Got it. Another timeout for stoppage. Oh. Well. Terry. Brantley Campbell. Johnson. They're wanting Terry to shoot it. He'll oblige. No good. <laughs> Rex is a good kid. <laughs> Live him with our, at our house with my son Carson. Holland, no good. Ben Wooten back. Uh oh, maybe Terry he'll get off one. the left. <laughs> uh, right. He was off to the races. <laughs> All right, 10 seconds to go. We're going to stop it. That's going to do it, folks. Bobcats, 84 to 55. From deep. We'll take two commercials and be right back to you here, folks, on BSE. Side Homes, located in Jackson, Kentucky, has been serving Breathitt and surrounding counties for over 27 years. They have new manufactured homes from Norris, Clayton, and Fleetwood. Single wides, double wides, and also an assortment of quality used homes. Many financing options available, offering site prep, delivery, and setup for a no hassle experience. To find your new home, visit them at 42 Jets Drive in Jackson or on the web at www.lakesidehomesjackson.com or call 606 666 7558. Variety Pizza. Family owned and operated, serving the community with homemade and handcrafted pizzas, sandwiches, salads, and more for over 45 years. Located at 1189 Main Street, Jackson, Kentucky. Available for dine-in and carry-out with private party spaces available. Stop by and visit us or call 606-666-5454. and hometown pharmacies have been serving Breathitt County for over 20 years and are proud to support our local athletes. They are hometown owned and operated by Portia and Everett Dunaway. Portia and Everett want you to know that family and hometown pharmacies are here for you. Give them a call today at 606-666-5519 or 606-666-5500. Thank <laughs> you. 
All right, folks, welcome back. It's award time. Final here tonight, 85-84-55. Brother County, Sean, I'm going to go to the floor. Let you finish her up. I'll turn me down. All right. We've take got... us to the, as we do the awards, you guys keep it on. I'll go down and take a team photo and uh, come back up and close her out after that, okay? That sounds good. That sounds good. We got that. All right. Let me get the final score posted here. Yeah. All right. Take her away, guys. All right. Uh, we've got a... Uh, Wolf County looks like the uh, uh, Mr. Uh, Mr. Creech is going to be out here, the principal for Wolf County Wolf County High School, going to present uh, present the trophies to the uh, district runner-up, Wolf County Wolves. Leading scorer tonight for uh, Breath County Bobcats is Christian Collins. Uh, he has 20, 20, 20 points, and I've got 12 boards unofficially, but a, a very strong performance, double-double uh, by the Bobcats. Principal Greg Creech of Wolf County High School will present the runner of the day and the runner-up trophy, who is the Wolf County Wolf. As Mr. Greg Creech comes to the, the table. Number four, Sawyer Thompson. And uh, the senior, number four, Sawyer Thompson. Outstanding year. Uh, going on to the re uh, regional tournament. Uh, regional Player of the Year. Uh, got nothing to hang his head about tonight. Uh, just uh, Number 12, Andrew came up short tonight. Andrew Mayhab, senior. Leader, been, been with the Wolves for a long time. Number 23, Max Wisman. And freshman Max Wisman, number 23. Number 24, Dalton Boyles. Number 24, Dalton Boyles, Jr. So we'll see him next year. Boyles, a defensive Number specialist for the Wolves. And 22, Jaden Molance, freshman. Number one, Austin McGinnis. And number one, freshman, Austin McGinnis. Number 44, Brady Robinson. And 44, Brady Robinson. Number 15. Jaden Holland. And number 15, Jaden Holland. Number 5, Caleb Creech. And number 5, 8th grader, Caleb Creech. And on the point guard responsibilities for the Wolves. Number 11, Cam Oliver. And number 11, Cam Oliver, freshman. Number 20, Chris Evans. And number 20, Chris Evans, freshman. Number two, Landon McWhorter. And number two, eighth grader, Landon McWhorter. Number three, Eli Bradley. And number three, Eli Bradley. Eighth grader. Number 14, Jaden Bradley. And number 14, Slade Freeman. Say seventh grader. 
Number 33. Fine young Davis talent for the Brown. for the Wolves. And number 33, crowd favorite. David Brown. John Brown. And John Brown. And John Henson. And the Wolf County's manager, Henson. Loves basketball. What a uh, Lucas Miller, my buddy. He's told me a lot about this young man. He, he's uh, got a great attitude and uh, loves being around the, the Wolf County community. And sorry, Thompson and Andrew may have come out and get the, uh, the runner-up trophy. And a very bright future for these uh, Wolf County Wolves. They've, uh, uh, they've got a lot of freshmen, a lot of underclassmen here. And um, they, uh, you know, the season's not over by, by any stretch of the means. Anything can happen in the regional tournament, uh, you know, but, you know, the future is bright and they, uh, they have a lot of young talent. Coach Robert Scott Creech, the elder statesman in the 14th region. Uh, as far as coaches, he's, he's been there for, uh, there's been a Creech at the helm at Wolf County for, uh, I guess over, I would say over 30 years, maybe 40. And, um, and he's done a fine job with this group this year. And uh, he'll have a game plan going into the regional tournament. And now we have the Breathitt County Bobcats going to come out and receive their district title back to back. The first one we would like to recognize is Kristen Collins. Kristen has recorded 1,000 rebounds in his career. And Kristen Collins being presented with a uh, uh, no doubt, uh, uh, a great honor here um, with his 1,000th rebound. The second individual is Luke Bellamy, who also recorded not only his high school at present career record for three quarters, but now he's joined the 1,000 point club. And he just joined the 1,000 point club along with his, uh, along with his, uh, leadership and you know determination on this court he uh he leads this team at, at point guard and uh, was really big tonight hit uh hit four threes uh three threes in the first quarter uh that just really you know put a dagger in the wolves number four luke bellamy man cool hand luke comes out to get his medal You know, one hope that uh, that the that Breath County Bobcats were going to be a little Number rusty three, with not playing Chris in a while, but they uh, they came out pretty sharp, uh, made shots when they need to, and uh, this man right here, Christian Collins, led the way with uh, 20 points, double double, big double double, 20 points, 12 rebounds, Number 32, uh, just flying Andrew all over the court. Cole. And Andrew Combs been a staple for the team, great shooter. And it's exactly where you want to head into the regional tournament. Number five, Bryce Hoskins. And yeah, number five, Bryce Hoskins. I mentioned earlier in the in the broadcast that Bryce uh, probably gets a little underrated as far as his uh, uh, his scoring skills. Uh, Bryce stepped out and hit a three tonight, and he also uh, did, a, did a great job in the post. Turner. And number twenty, Caden Turner. 
senior. And uh, these senior boys uh, playing their last game in the Coliseum. Isaac Bellamy. And they've been uh, great teammates. And number 24, number Isaac Jackson. Bellamy gets his award. Isaac, a strong young man, strong player. And we have Jackson Hamilton, number, 30. number three. Ben Wooten. Got some good productive minutes tonight. Number 30, Ben Wooten. Number 14, Austin Sperry. And number 14, Austin Sperry. Great game tonight. Uh, really got downhill and uh, got to the got got inside number the three. lane, distribute the basketball Sperry. tonight. Did an excellent job of that, and also made some very nice finishes. Number 12, Braxton Terry. Fine young talent. And number 10, Campbell. Number 42, hmm. Josh Combs. And number 42, Josh Combs. Number one, Aaron Johnson. And number one, Aaron Johnson. Manager, Jordan Shoemaker. And Jordan Shoemaker, manager for the Bobcats. And the managers do the uh, do the do the dirty work. They uh, they, they John, get the basketballs, support the team, and they deserve these trophies just as much as the players. James Hogan. James Hogan. And you can see these players, they love their managers. They love uh, uh, those guys on the bench with them. And that's, that's good to see. Coach Roy Conley. Coach Roy coming out. Win Noble. And Noble coming out. Andrew Sewell. Andrew Sewell. And you can't say enough about this Breath County staff. They've uh, uh, they band together Brandon over some uh, some adversity this year and. They've, uh, they've managed to piece together uh, a season with a, with a championship on the, on the end. So great job by them. Now with Coach Kyle Moore and the Red City Bobcats come forward and receive the team championship trophy. Please remember Coach Pickett is big. And Mr. Mr. Hubert Harold mentions that. A lot of class right there mentioning uh, Coach B.B. King at this time. And very classy mention right there. So, Breath of County Bobcats, the champions of the 55th District Tournament. And they're posing for a picture right now. Cheerleaders are going to come out and join them.
as Wolf County exits the yeah exits the floor. So, folks, thanks for joining us tonight with the with the game. My cohort uh, Brenda Miller will be back up here in just a second to to wrap it up. But we're gonna stay we're gonna stay going here. Ladies and gentlemen, we are very pleased to and give you a shot of this. Mr. Harold mentions it. Coach B.B. King again, who passed away earlier in the season. Uh, Mr. Harold's having a hard time holding the tears back right here. I know they were close and uh, very classy for him to mention him at, the, at this time. Uh, B.B. was so high on this team and uh, I know these boys wanted to win for him. Champions, Breath County Bobcats, posing for their uh, team picture with the trophy. Outstanding job this year. Some big wins, and exactly where you want to go into the regional tournament right now. With the, uh, you know, coming off a big win, you're going to give yourself a a, a good seed. Uh, at least play one of the uh, the, the losers of the district. Uh, to say it's good or bad, but you, you want that spot, and uh, that gives you the best chance uh, to, to win the tournament. Any big, and uh, you know we've had a uh, we've had some teams kind of step to the forefront. You know, Hazard, Letcher County Central, Perry uh, Perry, uh, Perry County Central, and uh, you know obviously Breath of Bobcats with uh, with uh, and don't forget Estill County and. Um, Not County. James, maybe if you get lining up the, the picture. And you say, say, say as many times uh, as a player, as an athlete, you play for, uh, for a championship and uh, play for the position to, to, to be in it, to win it. And uh, these Bobcats have done that the past two years, uh, taking the district crown back-to-back. Um, -back. And I know these, uh, these guys, uh, they're not done. They, they, wanna, they want the regional crown, and um, they are looking good and poised to, uh, to make a, a strong run at that. Congratulations to both teams, Wolf County Wolves and the Breath of County Bobcats. Okay, and and I don't know if Brendan, Brendan's coming back up. Yeah, okay, yeah, he, he said he's coming back up, so we're gonna wait for him. <laughs> Coach Kyle Moore brings out the the Warner ladder for the for the cut down of the nets. Yeah. Ooh. Some good pictures out there. <laughs> 